Good morning, everybody. We're coming around the, uh, we're in Alexandria this morning, which is where we are mostly every morning. We're coming around the traffic circle. I think this is the only damn traffic circle in the United States that's left. You see here, we're, as you can see, we're coming around this circle here. It's, uh, it, it, it's stupid. You know, they should, they should have updated this thing a long time ago to overpasses and stuff, but you know, what you gonna do? But uh, we're doing a change out today. Um, I'm fixing to pull up at the shipping yard because, like I say, uh, there's no train in uh, here in Alexandria where I live or Pineville. Um, so I have to get, you know, I order it from out of town, which is about an hour away, and then they ship it to me at a shipping yard. Shipping yard holds it on the dock. So uh, we're fixing to pull up at the shipping dock to pick it up. And then we're gonna go to the Goodman store and get some supplies. So uh, y'all stay tuned. All right, here we are pulling up at the shipping yard. You see right there, Saya Motor. I don't know if any of y'all have a Saya, but a uh, pretty big place here. And uh, so I'm gonna pull up over here, and they're gonna get me loaded up. And then uh, we're gonna head over to, like I said, the Goodman store and pick up some supplies and I'm gonna go change the system. All right, guys, we got our equipment picked up at the shipping yard and uh, now we're getting ready to pull up at Goodman. And uh, this is actually Goodman's new location. They just moved and I see here, they just put their big sign up finally. There's an electrical supply house back there and here we are. Figured I'd give y'all a shot of. This is where I buy most of my stuff. Right here at Old Goodman. So, uh, we'll get in here and get some supplies, do this change out, and then we'll get to the job. All right, y'all. All right, we're on the job site. We've got the uh, Hyperion air handler broke apart. Here's the top piece, bottom piece. There's a blower assembly, and there's the coil. Here's all the doors. Very simple, it took me less than five minutes to do this. And uh, just makes it a lot easier for me to carry this thing up there. So uh, I'm gonna take it up there piece by piece and uh, put it back together. and. Uh, We'll show y'all some more as soon as I get everything up there. All right, guys, we're coming right along. We got our air handler in place. We've got to seal up that return back there. We got the plenum mounted with all the starting collars in place, full of mastic, and a little support there supporting the plenum, the weight of it. But uh, I'm gonna tie these flex runs in and and we'll keep moving on all right air handlers in place all the flex runs are tied in still got to seal up to return flush the line set tie in the line set run the drain tie in the high voltage low voltage up here and the air handler will be done and then we're gonna move outside to the condenser uh, everything's going good going smooth nice system Hyperion so uh, We'll finish tying some of this, some more of this stuff in, and I'll get back to y'all. All right, we're coming right along with the system here. Uh, the return is all sealed up. Uh, high voltage is done. Working on a low voltage right now. The refrigerant lines used to come across the front right here, and we're in the way of service. So what I did is I ran them behind it and over. So I'm about to insulate that. And uh, we'll be wrapping up the air handler soon. Okay, the air handler is all done. <clears throat> Pipes insulated. I've got three float switches. One here for the secondary. One on the primary. And one in the secondary drain pan. So we're very well protected from flooding and any other issues like that. So uh, 
We're just a couple minutes away from starting it. Here's the final look. Should come out real nice. Really nice. All right, y'all, we got the condenser set. Nice, nice, nice looking unit. Got her all brazed in. Looks to put her in a vacuum. All right, y'all. It's getting kind of late. Fixing to get dark. But we should be wrapping it up here shortly. Vacuum's all done. A nice, healthy 111 microns. And the vacuum pump is off. It's on a... It's on a test right now, you know, uh, got the core shut off and we're holding at a 111, so we are way better than a factory, what the factory calls for, so. Low voltage is all done. This man was straight electric heat. He didn't have a heat pump. We converted him to a heat pump. We had to run a thermostat wire down the wall because he didn't have enough wires out here, but it doesn't look too bad. It, and he's, uh, and he's, He's happy with it. He does it. He's the kind of guy he doesn't care. Got it zip tied to the whip here and going into the unit. But uh he's happy with it. And it doesn't look that bad. So uh well it'll be starting her up here shortly. Okay guys, I'm gonna fire the system. It done got dark on me. I hate daylight savings time. All right, the system's functional. Sorry it's so dark, but I gotta come back tomorrow and uh, I'll get y'all some more footage of it in the daylight running. I'm gonna come tomorrow and put it in the heating mode and all that good stuff. But the testos don't show too good. There we go. Uh, we're looking for a eight degree subcool. So we're in the neighborhood looking for an eight degree subcool. It's uh, it's at five, that's within three, but I may let it run a few more minutes and put just a little taste in it. But uh, just took a little time um, having to convert from a, a straight electric heat to a heat pump. When you got to run thermostat wire and stuff like that, it takes you know it takes up a little time. I don't know why they just didn't run, you know, six at least six conductors out here. They didn't even run enough in the wall. We had to run new thermostat wire down the wall because there was only a four strand and I need five on train. So, uh, but other than that, not not too bad. Um, but um, it's running. He'll have his cooling on tonight, and it's 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 in the 70s here in Louisiana, so he's going to need it. But it is supposed to start cooling off, so I'm going to come tomorrow. i got to put him a filter grill and uh, run the system in the heating mode and, and all that good stuff. Burn the heat strips, make sure they're working good. So uh, I may do a part one, part two on this. I may go ahead and upload this and then upload tomorrow, but we'll see. Okay, guys.